Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Sally Turner, joined here today with senior reporter Connor Sheets to discuss what he found out about online shopping in Nigeria and their answer to Amazon. Connor, you got to investigate a company called Jumia. What makes them similar to Amazon? Um, Jumia is basically uh, Nigeria's answer to Amazon. It's an uh, African uh, online retailer based in Nigeria. Um, and they're similar, I guess, uh, in that they're an online marketplace that offers thousands of different products, over 100,000 currently, and um, they have a guarantee similar to Amazon of how fast you'll get your products. So I, I'm not exactly sure what the guarantee is in other countries, but in Nigeria, um, they guarantee within Lagos, they'll deliver anything within one day, and anywhere else in the country, they deliver within five days. So, it, and it's all online, and uh, the model and the site are very similar. Very well. similar to Amazon. Yeah. And you kind of got to meet with the co-founder of the company, but what did you find to be the most interesting thing and perhaps different about their business model compared to you know, Amazon in the States? I would say probably the most uh, different and interesting thing was that um, their, the difficulties they have with shipping sometimes. So the reason they can only do five days within Nigeria, if you're in a major city, you'll probably get it faster than five days. But um, some of the areas of Nigeria are reachable, reachable only by camel or sometimes maybe you can take a bike there, but um, so some of those areas, uh, they have a lot of difficulty actually meeting that five day process or promise. So sometimes uh, they work with third party providers to, to get stuff out there. But uh, other than uh, within regular, you know, more accessible areas, I think they have, it's pretty similar. I wouldn't say there's much different about it. The company has made a lot of momentum. It is quite a successful company, but what would you say is their biggest challenge? Would you say it's that delivery kind yeah, of demand? I would say it's the delivery and um, also, uh, you know, just, just expanding into other countries and not doing so too fast. Um, I mean, I did talk to someone who had a little bit, um, who had a kind of a bad experience where they ordered a cell phone and a uh, few tubes of toothpaste and ended up with way too many tubes, tubes of toothpaste and no cell phone. <laughs> so, um, you know, they quickly fixed that and it was not a big deal, but, you know, it, it's clear that they have a little bit of growing pains going on, going from five employees a year and a half ago to when they founded to 500 now. It's just natural that they're going to have a little bit of shaking out, but uh, it looks like mostly they're, they're doing all right. From that interview and writing that article and the research you kind of did, how difficult is it to not only establish a business in Nigeria, but to turn a profit? Um, I would say that, uh, you know, a few years ago it would probably be relatively more difficult, uh, or probably a lot more difficult because of lack of access to banking and internet and um, even electricity still is even a lot of blackouts and things like that. But I think now with the internet penetration being better, especially in places like Lagos and, um, and with the available, like uh, incubators and investors, including JP Morgan in the case of Jumia, are really uh, trying to move into the African market. So it seems like, um, like it would be a lot easier to do now. There's a lot of other companies that are starting that are kind of rollaries to um, companies in America or elsewhere in the West. Like there's a, I don't know the names off the top of my head, but there's a version of eBay, there's a version of Hotels.com, not a version, but a totally different site just for Nigeria, Hotels.com, uh, Orbitz, um, Fresh Direct, all, all those type of services. You can basically go to Nigeria and start a version of that company there and pretty, pretty quickly be making good money. So I think in the, in the online industry, online tech, commerce, that type of stuff, that uh, it's pretty easy to do if you have the, you know, the know-how to actually work in Nigeria and the resources. So would you say the biggest influence on business and how they construct their kind of business models would be what happens here in the West? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think, uh, I think that there's also some things that they're doing that are their own startups, uh, but I think that it seems like right now it's relatively easy to know that you're going to do well there because they just know that, you know, as internet penetration gets more, you know, deep there, uh, which is happening very quickly, as especially with smartphones, um, they're going to, it's, it's proven that countries, that people want certain things, you know, but eBay or Amazon, those type of things have worked el elsewhere. So to bring those models to Nigeria is um, something that it's, it's almost a, you can't lose. Mm. You know? yeah. Okay, thanks for yep. your insight. Cool.